Well, Apple is hitting a new all-time high hit it today with the stock closing at more than $460 a share. Now, if you want to get Apple-like gains without spending that much money on a single share of stock, we have someone here to tell you how. Jeff Reeves is the editor of InvestorPlace.com, and he's got some ideas on this. Okay, but let, let's keep in mind that Apple still, if you look at the price-to-earnings ratio of this stock, which we encourage our investors to get to know intimately, you can find it on our website, FoxBusiness.com or anywhere else, that it's actually pretty cheap when you look at that P.E. ratio. But some people's eyes bug out at the $400 price tag per share. So let's get to how you pick names that might be a little more palatable for people than Apple. Yeah, I mean, to be clear, I love Apple. I think everyone should own Apple. It's a great stock. Mm -hmm. You're, like you said, the P.E. ratio is very attractive. You also got to recognize it's got $30 billion in short-term uh, receivables or, or short-term investments and cash on the books. Again, $60 billion in long-term investments. You back out the cash, the P.E. is actually under 10. So it's, it's a good buy. It's actually a value. But, you know, I don't want to build a portfolio based on one stock. So I think that there are some opportunities elsewhere in tech if you kind of learn lessons from Apple. I think um, share momentum is one. You've got to have great fundamentals. And, of course, zero debt, a lot of cash on the books is an important thing to have. So I've kind of found three companies that I think may not be as sexy as Apple, but they pro provide some pretty good opportunities right. for investors right Let's now. Let's start with the first one. F5 networks, uh, they help you to manage data. A lot of people are concerned about people stealing their data, how to arrange all the data that they do have, particularly small businesses. Uh, you see growth here. Yeah, and I mean, it's not just kind of like managing the whole security aspect. F5 also makes the performance of networks better, whether you're right. e-commerce, whether you're like a local government. It helps the network perform, whether it's for users, whether it's for employees. So. Organically, this company is very important to the, to the whole economy. Uh, I mean, Apple, in large part, is responsible for F5's success because the more wired everybody gets, the more companies like F5 have to do business to make sure the networks are maintained. Um, you know, aside from the stock story, I really like the fundamentals of this company. It's got 10 consecutive quarters of year-over-year -year reven revenue beats, 13 consecutive quarters of year-over-year -year profit growth. So uh, you got zero debt, $550 million uh, in cash in the bank. So I think F5 has a lot to offer people right now. Again, it might be a little bit pricey, uh, but th you know, I think there's some froth in tech out there, but the fundamentals back up this stock. Right. So uh, I, I really like F5. And pricey because it's about 39 times price to earnings ratio there, the PE 39. Let's get to Red Hat, which has an even higher PE of about 67. But this is a company that's been around this Linux software opportunity. What do you love about Red Hat? Well, I like Red Hat because if you look back at their fundamentals, again, I'm talking about like an Apple-like growth story here. Sure. Uh, I, I went back through 15 quarters. Uh, revenue increases year over year for 15 straight quarters, way back to before the recession in 2007, 2008. You're not going to find a lot of companies that have done that in tech. You add in the fact that Linux is actually used for businesses more than anything else. So when you wrap your head around a fact that a company like Linux, that, or like Red Hat, that offers Linux open source to companies that don't have as much money to spend, that kind of growth across the recession, I really think, All is going to pay off when things turn around. Let's make this next one real short. We don't have much time, but Autodesk, you talked about cash on hand. This doesn't have Apple style cash, but about $1.3 in cash is not bad. Yeah. Zero that $1.3 It's got great fundamentals, too, about two fiscal years, seven straight quarters of revenue growth, eight straight quarters of profit growth year over year. Uh, also, it's got a little bit of a sex appeal. It, it's used by media companies. It did some of the computer animated design in, in Avatar and in Harry Potter. It's not just designing cubicles and office space. So I think it's got organic growth with the broader economy as architects use it. It's also kind of got an entertainment angle. So, you know, again, these aren't apples. There is no other Apple stock, but I think these are some good opportunities in tech for people. Great to see you, Jeff. We love ideas. Thank you so much. See Thanks you, for